Thursday night was Bastille Day, the French holiday of independence, similar to our 4th of July. It was just around 11 p.m., minutes after a joyous fireworks celebration. Out of nowhere came the demonic white truck mowing down everyone in its path. The killer has been identified as Mohamed Lahouej Bahoulel, a 31-year-old French Tunisian. After police raided his apartment in Nice, a woman was led away with her face hidden. Photographers were attacked by neighbors. Bahoulel is said to be a divorced father of three with a long criminal history. He worked as a delivery man. Look closely, you can see French police in white shirts desperately chasing the truck, trying to stop the rampage. But the driver kept going for more than a mile, leaving a bloody trail of the dead and injured. Mark Krikorkian is an American tourist in Nice. There's people screaming, running, uh, knocking tables over, just, I mean, it's, you know, running for their lives. <laughs> As the truck kept plowing ahead, witnesses say the driver was purposely steering into the crowds of terrified people. I saw him, uh, he left the wheel and he was like, like moving uh, in a very nervous way. The French police surrounding the car and he started to shoot. Here's the moment when the truck was finally brought to a halt. Police still firing their weapons. They later found a cache of large weapons in the back of the truck, implying that the killer may have planned an even deadlier assault. The aftermath, a surreal scene of dead and wounded, heartbreaking images, a dead child covered, and this man, dazed and praying by the body of another victim, covered in a pink blanket. Today, families in France and America and around the world are mourning their lost loved ones, wondering when horror like this will ever end.